And welcome back, you fabulous math masters, fabulous fourth graders. Here we go. Problem three is we're going to solve a subtraction word problem regrouping one ten thousand into ten thousands. Let's see what this word problem is all about. The paper mill produced 73,658 boxes of paper. I'm going to circle that. 8,052 boxes were sold. I'll circle that. And what we need to find is how many boxes remain. So let's do a tape diagram. This is going to represent that number, the number of boxes of paper. Okay, they sold 8,052. This is a real world problem. Maybe one day you'll work in a paper factory, be the boss person at the paper factory. All right, so there's our, there's our um, setup. I know this plus this will equal that. Let's do the standard algorithm along with the tape diagram. We're going to do five columns. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's label them. One, ten, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Standard algorithm over here, 73,658. And I can't stress this enough. you got to line them up. you got to line them up right. And we're subtracting. Okay, so we have eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five tens, one, two, three, four, five. Six hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight thousands, one, two, oh no, excuse me, only three thousands, and seven thousand, seven ten thousands. Okay, 73,658. Eight minus two, doink, doink. Less was with six. Five minus five, one, two, three, four, five. We took away zero. Six minus zero gets to stay six. Put our comma there. Now here we're running into some trouble. I can't take eight thousand away from three thousand, so I'm going to take a ten thousand. Take it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to have look. Six ten thousands and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen thousands. Thirteen thousands. Let's take away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm left with one, two, three, four, five. And how many ten thousands? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So let's uh, just do a little addition to double check this. I'm going to add these two numbers together, and we should get. Um, oops, I didn't bring down my six. I'm going to add 65,606 to 8,052. We should wind up with that. So let's do 65,606 plus 8,052. 6 plus 2 is 8. Looking good. 0 plus 5 is 5. Still looking good. I'm going to run out of room. 6 plus 0 stays 6. 5 plus 8, 13. Bring over the one. I did run out of room. Six plus one is seven. And it looks like we're absolutely right. We also could do a little thing called reasonableness. If I was around 73,658 to the nearest thousand place, would it be 73,000 or 74? Well, if you thought 74,000, you'd be absolutely correct. And then this round to the nearest thousand, of course, is 8,000. And we subtract 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. And 14 minus 8 is 6. So we have 66,000 as an estimate, awfully close to 65,600. So if they said about how many more boxes do they have left, you could have rounded and came up easily with 66,000. And that would have been pretty close to 65,606. So there are. 65,606 boxes remaining. Got to get your salespeople busy and have them start selling those boxes of paper. A big sales meeting. All right, go get your problem set, but before you do that, take a little break. Go tell mom and dad you love them. Get a drink of water. Get a bite to eat. Hug your baby brother and sister. Tease your older brother and sister. Run around the house singing and laughing the entire time, and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh wait, look who's here. My dog, Paulo. Paulo, speak.
Notch his other trick. Paulo. Whisper. Paulo. Whisper. No. Whisper. No. Whisper. Whisper. Don't. Whisper. Whisper. No, well, he's not going to whisper for us. Are you? Get a whisper? No? Okay. 